Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are, once again, playing Resident Rise. And, uh, I made some changes. Uh, now as you can see, I've got a fourth one here, and I've got this set up for electromagnets, but I kind of accidentally already crafted them. So, I'm going to show you something nifty I figured out by complete accident, right? So, if we look up Turbine, and I just started my game, so it took it a second there. Uh... I restarted it before I started recording to make sure that if there's any memory leaks, they're gone or anything. But, uh, see this? Right? This is the turbines. These are what we need to actually get power out of the fusion reactor. Now, if I click those into there, right? But say I go in here and do this. I can click import, and it will actually pull it out of this crafting table and put everything it needs to right in here. Now, what that means is... Now, let me just do a quick check. I think I need 16 turbines. Now, I've got some bricks. Uh, I got plenty of clay from whenever I was setting up or processing the aluminum. So, now if I go in here and look for turbine, I should be able to request 16 of these. Yes. I like how it tells me whether or not I have the materials right when I go to request it. So, I made some energy conduit, which is just... Oh, not that. The energetic alloy and an ender pearl. I, of course, got the ender pearls via mob essence and killing endermen. But uh, I got some things set up here. Now, if we take control circuits and we do this, we can get our advanced circuits. Now, we don't want to use all of these right away because we want to put two of them here. And I forgot about the cell, but we'll get to that. Now, the rest of these, I want to be upgraded into elite circuits, which are made with two advanced circuits, a lapis block, and some gold ingots. And so we're going to put one of those here, and four of those here. Now, we need to get the empty cell, which is made with four tin and a piece of glass, right like this. Now, this gets us 16 of them, but we only need one. Now, that will go here, and this will get us the fission reactor. It's made with iron blocks, the circuits, motors, and the cell. Now, you need the fission reactor to make the fusion reactor, which is four elite circuits and four blocks of iron, so quite a bit expensive, actually. And then we also need the chemical extractor. This is what's going to get us the deuterium. Uh, it's, you need bronze ingots. Uh, my solution was I basically... Uh, right, I took the, uh, the tin dust... I, I turned tin bars into dust, but what I did was, I'm just going to show it here, I put the tin in here, so the tin goes in the purple slot as dust, and then you put copper bars, or ingots, in the red slot, and it will output bronze. Each piece of tin will give you five pieces of bronze, so it's a pretty good rate, which is why I chose to do it that way, it saves me on materials a bit. I made a lot of extra bronze. I think that is everything I need. Oh, I didn't actually craft it. I'm pretty sure that's mostly everything I need. Uh, I didn't make any more pressurized tubes, so we're just going to take what I have in here and we'll work with those, and I'll probably move things later. Got my electromagnets and my turbines, and I didn't back up my world. I'm pretty sure I'm doing this right. I could very well screw this up horribly, and just, it would just be the end of the world. But uh, I built myself a nice little reactor room down here. The lead is unnecessary. The lead is purely for aesthetic purposes. Oh, come on. There we go. Now, the fusion reactor goes right here in the middle. As far as I know, this is the absolute simplest, well, the minimum amount of electromagnets you can use for this process. Every single side is going to need six of them. What is the easiest way to go about this? Think right like so. And then I was trying to magnet on, get all my blocks back. And I've just got to do this for every side. It's going to be a bit time-consuming, sort of. Not as much so, because luckily I have the outer frame here, which will make things just a little bit quicker. And I didn't put in the the edge blocks here on all of these, partly because I ran out of marble when I was setting this up. I, of course, just collected this marble from... 
from uh, clearing out this area. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. That happened when clearing out a chunk of the floor. Now, I have to be very careful to make sure that I don't miss any of these, because if I screw this up, this could very well eat this entire room and maybe even other parts of my base. I need to make sure that every single one of these electromagnets is in place and in the right place, because the reactor, the fusion reactor, generates plasma. Now, the electromagnets hold the plasma in. You're not necessary there. But, uh... Yeah, if you, say, break an electromagnet when the reactor is running, everything in the nearby vicinity is going to be gone. It is just going to vaporize it. And I'm not joking on that. It is ridiculous. Now, I've run these down from the giant power box. I did complete it. it I was slightly off. It holds 625 million. Uh, let's just... woo check that real quick. As you can see, it is complete. It holds 625 million redstone flux and has a max output and input of 125,000 a tick. Uh, we're not going to be generating anywhere near that at first. Uh, as you can see, I left some room on the sides to expand, which I will eventually, but a bit of an issue with placing on lamps sometimes. Uh, I will be, in the future, expanding at least to the edge of this room. Uh, not this way. I don't actually ex plan to expand it to the left or right. But should be okay. Uh, now, I'm going to be putting this here. Yeah, that should be fine. I didn't really want any connecting wires, but unfortunately the way I'm setting this up, it's going to be kind of unavoidable. Now, another thing I'm definitely going to need to get, oh, i got to get out of my network first, is the water sigil. Because you make steam, and then that's what turns the turbines. So in order to make steam, you need water. It's pretty simple. You just place the water on the electromagnets. I don't know if the upper electromagnets work. I've always done it on this because you get the best coverage. But you might be able to put it on top of that if you had water on there. But Eh, I'm not going to be doing it that way. I am, however, going to be placing my turbines like oop, so. I'm not entirely sure how much power this is going to generate, and I haven't made the power monitor. Uh, we could probably actually do that. It shouldn't take too terribly long, and I might have actually made the alloy previously. I'm not sure. Okay, let me just do a quick check to make sure everything's in place. Electromagnets, check the bottom. Electromagnets. Everything appears to be in place. Uh, we are going to need a source of water, like a permanent continuous source of water. So, that's not going to count. I wish to use, it's another thing from Ender IO. It is called the Reservoir. Uh, I don't think I have any of the materials for this. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, okay, so, in order to get, we, we need to craft this twice, which means that I need nether quartz, which one of you has, okay, it's you. So I guess while that's going, it shouldn't take too long, I will, I suppose I'll fill my bucket. Blood lamps don't get washed out by water like, uh, other things do, like torches. So this should be fine. Are you done? You are done. I'll throw you into the system like so. Missing three glass panes. Of course I am. Give me some glass. Yeah, tell me I'm missing glass panes now. Cool. So it takes four of them. 
It's essentially a your standard 2x2 two two infinite water pool, except it comes with a few benefits. Uh, right. Like I said, I'm going to be moving this eventually when I make more cable. Uh, how am I going to go about this? Yeah, it can go... You can go here. So when you place it in a 2x2 two two formation, and the cool thing about it is it, is it can be vertical, you put... Is this not going to work with it? Uh, of course not. Why do you do these things to me, game? Okay. I'm going to need a bucket. Well, this is one of those moments where Mariculture's water not updating is a benefit. Now you'll see once I put in the second one, it'll be half full, but it continues to go up. So we're going to break this guy temporarily. Because what we want to do is we want to wrench the side of this. You see that little symbol there? I guess it works for the whole tank. It doesn't. I didn't necessarily need to wrench this side. But as you can see, I placed that there and it drained out. Because we're getting water in here. And this is currently pulling power from the capacitor bank. And it is refining this using... If this is, If I'm reading this right, 1.77 Minecraft joules a tick. Not a tick, but a second. As you can see, we got some deuterium. Now, of course, what we're going to need to do is get that deuterium into our reactor down here. Three and four. Uh, just for the safe side, I do not want you connecting to any of these. Because I'd rather be safe than sorry with these things. And now what I want to do... No, you're the energy conduit. I want you to be where you were. I want you to extract. This is pressurized too. You're not supposed to be going yet. Let's hope I have everything set up. The fire noises are normal. Uh, well, if there was a catastrophic failure, we would have seen it by now. I was sitting here, and I just realized something. I don't want these to connect, so right-click on the center. Job done. Now, this should be able to infinitely maintain this thing, but even if it doesn't, I mean, it's fine. And yes, it is a bit noisy. There's not too terrible much I can do about that part. Well, actually, there's a pretty good pretty simple solution to that, but I don't care enough. So, I'm not entirely sure how much power this is generating, but... Oh. Oh, I forgot a spot. I would be very, very careful with this, because as I said before, if I break through an electromagnet, I'm going to have a very bad day. Now, the looks like all 16 of my turbines are spinning, which is good, glorious news. The elevator still works, I just consider it a bit slow. So if we look at this, we're actually gaining power at a very rapid rate, which is exactly what I was after. I don't think I could really drain it very quickly. Uh, I'm going to take a gamble. I'm going to believe that I haven't used all the time. I'm going to have a few looks at things I need. Oop, I should have left that up. So we want the power monitor. It's made with stone bricks, machine chassis. Just pretty simple. There's no way it should be able to fail at making a machine chassis. Done. Good. Uh, a basic capacitor. Of course you're going to screw that up on me because you don't like my form of copper. Go. Okay, throw the basic capacitor back in there. Do I have... Of course I don't have redstone alloy. It is silicon and redstone. I don't have any silicon, but I do have some quartz still. So I guess I'll cook that quartz up. I don't need you on anymore, Magnet. Let me throw the door. 
I really need to move that stuff at some point. And this is my extremely makeshift auto smelty setup, because you can see I was making stone. Yes, I was making stone. Do you? Really? You're not going to function with that? Okay, fine. Give me an automatic dictionary converter, would you? Place it here. Ha! I win. Deal with it. So I guess while that's making, let's investigate... I don't really think we need anything else other than the power monitor. Uh, I'm going to have to reclaim some energy conduit. Because I don't believe I have any of the pink conduit in here. No, I do not. I do have one of these. And I'll show you... Uh, I'll go down here. There. Uh, as you can see, there's still some of this down here because I need it to connect the length. And I'll reclaim some as I need it for different purposes and replace it with the orange. So that gives us that. So the only thing I'm going to need is more silicon, unfortunately. Looks like that cable is probably done. That is not the right side. Uh, yes. Got the alloy. Got the silicon. Throw it in here to please this system. Now if I throw this here and this here, I should be able to do one of these. Go. Cool. Throw that back in. Button. Cool. Did it? Oh, right. It had to craft the uh, thing. Uh, don't fight with me. Go. So, I'm not entirely sure what the actual, all the mechanics is about this, but I'm hoping that if I put this here... Mm, that's what I am I was afraid of it's not providing me any numbers it's not even providing me the numbers of what's coming in there but you can see we're already at 130,000 uh, let's just kick down into the floor here now if I put it here That's it? Seems a little... Oh, that's the output. The average input... If this is per cable, it looks like we're generating somewhere in the area of almost 3600 RF a tick. Which is actually not that bad. And that should be able to infinitely sustain itself. So if we go down here... My aesthetic lead. If we can get a look at the... You see how it's at 2300? And it'll occasionally drop down some. But... You'd remember the chemical extractor is creating 100. And it'll actually spit it out just a bit faster than this will actually use it. So you can see now it's at 2470. So... That should maintain running. I'll get the ceiling finished at some point. I'm sure you can get an idea of what it's supposed to look like. And then I've got my scaffolding around the outside. And then I'll probably make another one of those just for safety's sake and move it to, like, have them on the sides of the room or, like, back here against this wall so you can look out. And then, like, the water tank is probably going to be... Well, they're each going to need one. And then the actual piping, it'll probably go up to the ceiling and then come down the whole way along this and go down into it like that. And, I mean, I can extend this out, the other sides. Theoretically, if I had a turbine here, 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 and here, wrenched it, it supposedly would be more 
reliable or whatever, I'm not sure, but we're generating around 3,600 RF a tick off of free, it's basically free power. So, I mean, it, it's good enough for me at the moment. I'll upgrade it eventually. As I said, the upgrading process is going to be a very careful thing I have to do. Hmm. Do I really have no conduit left? Surely I have some somewhere. None? At all? Huh. Weird. Oh well. So, according to the power monitor though, we're getting a sufficient amount of power for my needs at the moment. And I'll talk about refilling it, and then that's not even processing the power that's still coming in from these. So, I think that pretty much puts this good on power for a good while, because, I mean, that's 360 Minecraft joules a tick. And that's pretty much infinitely expandable. Yeah. Going up quite readily. So, I don't know if I ever wanted, like, a supplement power system. I would actually probably just make, ow, another star generator. Oh, come on. Yep. So that's sometimes how things go for me. And I accidentally turned the monitor off at one point. I was like, why won't the monitor come back on? If you give it a redstone signal, it breaks. So, yeah. Ow. Oh, I didn't mean to be on this floor. Whee! So, uh, let's just go back in here for a second. As you can see, this ender chest is bound to my bag here. And this is an advanced item collector. And I just set up the interdiction matrix down here. And it seems to be maintaining itself, which is good. Uh, this switch will turn off the slaughterhouse, and then this switch will control the... Uh, pipe flow coming out of that so that this won't get any more it'll stop spawning and basically I just item collected Enderman into my bag so as you can see I have 135 Ender Pearls so I can make more transceivers and stuff which is nice although their transfer rate's a bit slow I hate to put it that way but yeah so I'm going to go with slow Eh, oh well. So, this might be shorter, I'm not sure. You should know by now that I have zero sense of time. And I don't actually need any of these now. It's useful. Well, concrete I might have wanted, but I can fix that later. And I could just add on another one of these for electromagnets, and then I should be able to craft electromagnets and turbines with ease. I actually have enough in here to craft 16 more. Which would be 8 per side. In order to go out 8 per side, let's see, this one would disappear. So I'd have to go out 4 more per side. Right? Yeah. And then that would be pretty much doubling the amount of, the amount of power I'm getting, which would put me at 7200. So, I mean, it's pretty easy to gain power. And the way I have this set up, these scaffoldings are going to stay where they are, but the walls will go out. So the scaffolding will let me walk over the primary middle bit here. Okay. I was considering finishing it there, but I want to make one more thing. Hoping I have enough, that is. Eh, I've got plenty of wool. I want to make... No, not in there. A sound muffler. Uh, I already have a note block, don't I? No. No, it's the only thing I don't have. Go back in there. Bam. Sound muffler. The reason why I'm making this? 
Because this thing is really loud. So, I'm eventually going to be putting the... No, no, I'm not going to be putting anything down here, really, so I'll just put this right here. Now, as you can tell, it takes a second because the sounds playing have to finish. And I don't know if this is flammable. But, it should be fine. I like you see that makes things so much quieter. On the topic of quiet... I'm going to restart the elevator real quick, so I want you to hear something. As long as it's still functioning. I don't know if you could hear that, but computers have sounds. Uh, I have still haven't fixed my auto-run script to actually run this. When the computer starts, but everything should be good. I can tell the elevator's moving, because my FPS drops a bit. I realize that's an interesting way to determine that it's moving. But it's a way. So, I I obviously have some more decorating work to do down there, because you just saw that the tunnel into the power room isn't quite finished. And I want to get the storage room and stuff set up. That actually does quite a number on my FPS. I wonder why that is. Weird. But, uh... I think I'm going to call this good for now. And, uh, yeah. So, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.